Good day, everyone. My name is Matthew Wilson Salam from Venus University International. Today, I'm going to talk about an issue that one day might become a potential problem to the workforce in Indonesia. As an IT student, I have analyzed and researched regarding this case why some jobs might be made redundant in the future. Related to the topic at hand that I will discuss today is emerging technologies and the disappearance of manual labor jobs in Indonesia. The use of technologies such as robotic process automation, cloud computing, the Internet of Things or IoT, machine learning, and artificial intelligence or AI has led to significant changes in the way work is done in organizations. Some of these terms will be elaborated in another section in the upcoming slides. So, what is the problem? As newer technology continues to be introduced, more and more jobs have begun to shift towards being replaced. As to what kind of jobs, according to McKenzie and Co., in 2017, 49% of activities that people do as part of their jobs have the potential to be automated. They predicted that about 30% of activities of 60% of jobs could technically be automated. In comparison, less than 5% of jobs con consisted of activities that can be completely automated. What is the objective of this research? First is to create a forecast on how the rate of automation growth could take over and replace jobs in Indonesia. And from the data above, provide solutions that could minimize the risk of unemployment due to jobs being replaced by automation. The scope of this research is the whole workforce in Indonesia. And while the time frame is gathered from previous studies measuring the effects of automation from the year 1950 to 2020. These are some of the terms that we need to be familiar with as it will be discussed further in this research. Labor automation is the practice of substituting technology for human labor to perform specific tasks or jobs. Automation involves mechanization but also expands it by using technology to further remove people from tasks. Forecasting is a technique that uses historical data as inputs to make informed estimates that are predictive in determining the direction of future threats. E Commerce is the buying and selling of goods or services via the internet and the transfer of, of money and data to complete the sales. Advanced robotics are a combination of sophisticated programming and powerful hardware that makes use of smart sensor technology. Artificial intelligence, or known as AI, refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like humans and mimic their actions. The picture below shows that it is vital to understand the current situation of unemployment right now. There are two pictures taken from two different sources, one from study in Indonesia and another one from the States. As you can see in recent years, the number of the unemployment has spiked at its peak during this pandemic, while the other picture shows the rate of unemployment in Indonesia in a geographical state. Both these data are measured by the metric of educational attainment. Moving on, we have another graph studied by Bureau of Labor Statistics, showing the total increase of unemployment from 1950 until 2020. Two attempts will be made in the analysis using the interval of five years and another within the interval of one year to minimize the margin of error in getting a more accurate result. The picture below shows another study taken from McKinsey Global Institute and this shows the number of jobs that can potentially be lost due to automation in the process. The graph also shows the range of age in the workforce. So what is my attempt in doing this? First is forecasting method. This is the attempt that I did in making the forecast from the given data in the previous slide, using spreadsheet and the forecast formula to initiate the test and written in this exact order are the formula for forecast.ets along with the syntaxes, which are target date, values, timeline, seasonality, data completion, and aggregation. Target date is the value that we want to predict in this case, and the results above the year 2020. While values remain the same, the timeline is set from 1950 to 2020. Seasonality is set to one for seasonality prediction. Data completion is also set to one because there are no missing values in the previous data, and aggregation is also set to one for average values. We can see that the forecast line shows the average outcome, 
lower confidence bound for the minimum and the upper confidence shows the maximum values. Below is shown the values based on the formula previously. While the result taken by intervals of one year shows a more curved result, they share the similarity of constant increase every year. This is the detailed result generated by the formula for the second test. Feel free to pause the video to check for any discrepancy within the graph previously. And as for my analysis, the main reason why corporation wants to automate jobs is because job automation will reduce errors and increase productivity tremendously. It will become an important competitive differentiator according to a McKinsey report. Automation itself cannot be prevented as it is part of technological advancement. However, what can be done regarding the risk of unemployment is to prepare the younger generation to focus on studies that cannot be replaced by automation. A good example of application can be on jobs related to digital transformation. In conclusion, based on the previous observation, the rate of jobs will be replaced by automation will continue to increase. This could potentially lead to increased unemployment due to job disappearance. As shown in the result of the previous forecast, both trials shows an estimated minimum of 75% of jobs that will be replaced by automation. As for the second objectives on what times can be done in order to prevent mass numbers of unemployment to rise in the future, a permanent solution hasn't been found and the answer has not yet been achieved in this paper. Hopefully, future development research will be able to identify a better and permanent solution for this issue. And that is all from me today. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.